Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video we shall take up two questions where the interest is compounded annually. We shall be using formula method to solve these questions. Now when the interest is compounded annually, the formula for amount is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N where A is the amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years. Further, compound interest is the difference between amount and principal. So, we can write A minus P. And further, when we will substitute the formula of amount, we shall get the formula of compound interest as CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. So, these are the formulas of amount and compound interest which we are going to use in solving our questions. Now, let's start with the first question. Ram borrowed a sum of rupees 30,000 from Shyam for 3 years. If the rate of interest is 6% per annum compounded annually, find the interest paid by Ram to Shyam after 3 years. Now, let's start with the solution. Over here, the principal is rupees 30,000. Time is equal to 3 years and rate of interest is given 6% per annum. So, Ram has borrowed a sum of rupees 30,000 from Shyam and we have to find the compound interest which Ram will pay to Shyam after 3 years. So, we shall apply the formula of amount first. We shall put the values and find out its value of amount and then we shall find out compound interest by using the formula of amount minus principal. So, this is how we are going to solve this question. So, let's start with the formula of amount. So, amount is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. Now, we shall substitute the values of principal, rate of interest and time period in this formula. So, we shall write 30,000 in bracket 1 plus 6 upon 100 raised to power 3. Now, further we shall take LCM and we shall write 30,000 in bracket 100 plus 6 upon 100 raised to power 3. Now, further we shall simplify and write 30,000 in bracket 106 upon 100 raised to power 3. Now, further 106 and 100 will get divided by 2 and we shall write 30,000 in bracket 53 upon 50 raised to power 3. And further when we will simplify, we will get rupees 35,730.48 as the amount uh, which Ram will pay to Shyam after 3 years. So, amount has come rupees 35,730.48. Now, we have to find the interest which Ram will pay to Shyam after 3 years. So, we have to find the compound interest using the formula of amount minus principal. So, 35,730-48 minus 30,000 is equal to rupees 5,730.48. So, this is the compound interest which Ram will pay to Shyam after 3 years. Now, let us take up question number 2 in which Nidhi deposited rupees 7,500 in a bank which pays her 4% interest per annum compounded annually. Find the amount and the interest received by her after 3 years. So, this is our question. Nidhi has deposited rupees 7,500 in a bank. So, that is our principal rupees 7,500. She has deposited for 3 years. So, that is our time period and rate of interest which she will get per annum is 4%. Now, we shall apply the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. Now, we shall put the values of principal, rate of interest and time period in the formula and we shall write 7500 in bracket 1 plus 4 upon 100 whole raised to power 3. Further, we shall take LCM. So, 7500 in bracket 100 plus 4 upon 100 whole raised to power 3 which is equal to 7500 in bracket 104 upon 100 whole raised to power 3. Now, further we shall divide numerator and denominator by 4 and we shall get 7500 in bracket 26 by 25 whole raised to power 3. And when we'll solve it, we'll get rupees 8,436.48 as the amount which Nidhi will get from bank after 3 years. Now, we shall find the compound interest, which is the difference between amount and principal. 
So 8436.48 minus 7500 and we shall get rupees 936.48 as the compound interest which Nidhi will get from bank after 3 years. So hope you have understood these two questions and the various steps which were involved in finding the amount and the compound interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.